Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I've just arrived at Terminal 2 at London Heathrow uh, and I'm on my way to Bogota, Colombia. Um, so I'm going to film over the next 12 days to uh, give you an insight of, uh, of what I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what it's all about. So I've had to buy face masks. Buy one, get one free, $7.99 from WH Smith's in the terminal because I need to wear a mask on the plane. I forgot about all the COVID rules. So, uh, yeah, you have to wear uh, the mask on the flight all the way there, apart from uh, meal services. And then on the internal flights as well throughout Colombia. Um, I completely forgot, I haven't travelled since last year um, when I went to Chamonix uh, and yeah I had to prove my Covid vaccine status. Um, you have to complete a document for the Colombian government, um, like a entry form which I uh, completed yesterday um, and you have to have a return flight as well. So. Now I'm just making my way to the gate. My flight is in about one hour. I've just had a nice yo sushi because I was absolutely starving. I've been at work all day. Um, yeah, my flight is uh, an overnight flight. Um, so it's, a, it's 11 hours and 15 minutes to fly from London to Bogota. Um, So I'll be at Bogota at four in the morning local time. Here we go. I'm boarding the flight with my mask. I just asked for a, uh, a free upgrade, but apparently the flight is full, so. Oh well, it's worth asking the question. So I've arrived at Bogota International Airport. It's uh, crazy early in the morning. I arrived much earlier than I expected. Um, the flight was supposed to be 11 hours and 15 minutes. And I think it took 10 hours because of the weather conditions. So, uh, yeah, here I am. Um, guess I'm going to get a cab or an Uber to, uh, to the hostel. The temperature is mild, not too bad. I was going to bring a down jacket, but I've, I decided against it. I, I met one of my friends at the gym the other day and she's, she'd recently been here and she said it wasn't really necessary. So I've got a rain jacket. I've got my... Uh, fleece hoodie on and that's it. I've arrived at my uh, my hostel Messiah in Bogota. It's still quite early so I'm being quiet. Um, the sun's up. There's no sunshine yet, um, but yeah, it's more like a hotel, this place. It's very quiet. I haven't seen many people yet. I've just had a bit of a nap, so now it's time to have breakfast. I think they serve breakfast from like 11, no, sorry, 7 to 11. <laughs> and Messiah, they have uh, seven options for breakfast. Uh, it's included, but there is a price on the menu, so I guess that's for guests. But they have, uh, yeah, like Colombian tamal, which is rice dough mixed with pork meat, chicken, and carrot, uh, mixed rice and beans with eggs, scrambled eggs, or fried, 
marmalade butter, uh, seasoned fruit, French toast. <laughs> I've gone for healthy. Bread toast covered in avocado, cherry tomatoes, pickled onion, yogurt with granola and seasoned fruits. They've got a fruit bowl, Mexican breakfast and an American breakfast. So the breakfast is looking quite impressive. Look at that. Healthy. I'm going to track down a SIM card. I didn't buy one at the airport. Uh, nothing was open at three in the morning. So apparently there's a uh, store just around the corner from the hostel. Uh, so I need to get some money out from the ATM and then go and get a, uh, a SIM card so I can be online it's really nice, the sun's started to shine. Oh, look at this. I must say, there's um, a lot of security. Uh, it does feel quite safe, to be honest. When I first arrived at the airport, there was a... Um, there were two like Im uh, immigration police officers just in like interviewing you when you come in i just said hablo english <laughs> um, and uh, he said okay carry on <laughs> um, so <clears throat> didn't need to uh, i didn't need to explain myself um, i just had a really nice breakfast at the hostel Absolutely stuff now. That's cool. It's not what I was expecting actually. I was expecting it to be a bit rougher. I don't know. It's got a good vibe so far. What a nightmare so far. I've just been recommended by the hostel to go to uh, a store to buy a SIM card, bought the SIM card, and then the cell's working, but not the uh, data. And I literally spent about 45 minutes in the shop with about three or four different um, shop representatives trying to help me get my phone working, and it's not. So I gave up. Um, I'm just heading back to the hostel uh, because I, uh, I'm gonna go to the walking tour um, so I just need to quickly jump on Wi-Fi, make sure that the walking tour is confirmed, and then uh... ah, it's up here. Isn't it? Yeah, getting a bit lost. Um, yeah, so check the uh, the walking tour is confirmed, and uh, that starts in literally 15 minutes, and it's about a 12-minute walk from where uh, my hostel is. So I need to. Get a bit of a move on. Oh, nice. There's a dog hitting in the street. That's nice. <laughs> At least he's uh, got his doggy bag. And he's going to pick it up. <laughs> so, already I'm finding myself having to adapt to the... Uh, cultural differences um, things just happen a lot slower around here uh, yeah as the Spanish would say mañana mañana and uh, yeah everything's on a bit of a go slow I think I'm just arriving at the uh, gold museum which is where the walking tour starts so let's figure it out YouTubers before coming out to Colombia, and uh, I'm sharing their frustration with the uh, yeah the inefficiency, should I say? Um, everything just takes that a little bit longer, um, and you never quite well unless unless you speak Spanish, of course, um, which my Spanish is a lot to be desired. Um, 
well, there we go with the uh, free walking tour. There seems to be a few people hanging around down here. So uh, I'm going to try and jump on. So we're going to have today a three hour tour. We're going to be finishing around six blocks in this direction to the south. And if you want to come back, just maybe to visit the gold museum or to see this square, to see the church. My idea is that at the end of this tour, you can orientate yourself, that you can be completely autonomous here, just wandering in Bogota, understanding the streets, the number, and also having some ideas to what to do after the tour in Bogota. And many of you maybe have heard, oh no, Bogota, it's the worst city. Just one day over there to overlap and then to go to Medellin or go to Cartagena, but just to stay there. No, Bogota is an amazing city, <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of stereotypes, huge city, monster city, but my idea is that you at least have a... ¿Cómo estamos? Thank you. Hoy sí tenemos el, el general. Entonces, allá. Bueno, yo voy, yo voy. Entonces, okay. we have here our local Michael Jackson. <laughs> so... Don't be so Indio. And this is the beverage from the Indios, so don't drink that. That is like, ugh, that is disgusting. Chicha I tried for the first time just five years ago. And 
I was, this is the chicha. I, I thought it was anything else. And chicha is a very ancestral beverage that is made out of corn, fermented corn. For example, we thought that chicha is like disgusting, but no, this one is actually very frugal. You can drink as you want as a shot. Normally we have this bottle with the straw, so. on the walking tour I got some factor 50 off a dude and then realized about an hour later in the bathroom that my face was completely white <laughs> at least I was protected from the Sun that's a good thing uh, and now I'm in a restaurant with uh, Joanna uh, and we're gonna have some local cuisine and this juice what do you what? and uh, she's translating something. Both are passion fruit juice. One is prepared with water, the other one is with leche, milk. Let's check it out. Oh, the milk one's better. <laughs> so we've got a local dish here. It looks like 
bacon and potato sauteed potatoes. That's good. <laughs> and it's really hot. Now it looks like a corn and chicken soup. Again, what's the expert saying? Espérame, ajiaco. Ajiaco. Listo, listo, mi inge. No, ya me dijeron que el lunes entonces. That is some mighty big corn as well. So there's. Quite a lot of food here. We've got a side dish with that half an avocado and some rice, and then some fries and epinada, epinada, or what is it? Oh, it's chicken. Chicken. Ah, chicken. It's chicken with cheese and corn. There's a lot of food. Lucky I'm hungry. The SIM card saga continues. I started this morning at a retail, it's like a convenience store called OXO, where I bought the SIM card. I'm now back at the OXO store, trying to get the SIM card sorted. Basically, it works, but there's no data. I've, I have tried several people several representatives from uh, the network itself and uh, getting nowhere fast. What I've learned is these things take a very long time in Colombia. <laughs> um, I, I reckon I've spent all of about two hours just trying to get uh, a SIM card today. Um, I'm losing the will to live. I'm at the point where I'm thinking, I can't be bothered. I'll just jump on the Wi-Fi as and when. We'll see how long this takes. It's 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I've sat down. I reckon it's going to be a good half hour in here. I'll update you later. <laughs> Even here, but there's four representatives working on the mission. This, <laughs> this is what it's like over here. It's hilarious. <laughs> So the, uh, the, the SIM card saga continues. We've now come to a Claro store, which, so we've been to three stores today, um, spoken to several people. I, 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 I imagine there's at least a dozen people that have looked at this. Okay, this is good. good. Yeah, man. He done it. It's the old settings. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. He done it. I used to sell mobile phones, so I'm pretty good with tech, but I had no idea what was going on. Finally, the SIM card's working. This is taking a long time to get online. La Barra. The SIM, the SIM card sorted. I'm online. It was all to do with the VPN settings. Um, and uh, this is what would be equivalent to, I guess, Oxford Street in London. Um, it's absolutely crazy. There's lots of like street performers, um, resellers, uh, market stalls. Um, yeah, it's it's all going on. It's kind of cool. Inglaterra, oh wow.
Okay. Wow. Let's check it out. Hey Gringo! <laughs> hey Gringo! I'm, I'm now a Gringo apparently. <laughs> Got myself a, a charging cable. 10,000, 10,000, what's it? 10,000 pesos? Pesos, no? Is two dollars? Two dot, two dot. Well, it's not a dollar then, is it? It's not one dollar. It's two dollars. <laughs> Expensive. It's a drugstore. She likes, <laughs> she likes drugs. <laughs> Oh, look, oh, awesome. Joanna, look, no. look, you're such a bad influence. No. Drugstore in Colombia. No. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my God, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mental on this street. Mental. 